We were fools to trust this god machine, this bringer of death and darkness. The Trinary Star is a cult, presumably located within the European Dead Zone. What their ultimate goal is remains largely unknown, however we do know that they seek to curse the Traveler's Light, or that they have already done so. They seem to believe that the Traveler is responsible for the arrival of the darkness, and that by cursing its very light, they will drive the machine god away. Who or what the members of Trinary Star are remains a mystery. It is likely that all members are hunters who were once guardians, as every piece of evidence we have to the cult's existence comes from hunter cloaks and artifacts, such as the Trinary Star and the cult Trinary Star Cloak. Some may claim that Dredgen Yor, an infamous hunter who abandoned the light in order to serve the darkness, was a member. All we know for certain is that their symbol is that of a skeletal deer, likely a male European red deer, and what appears to be a triangle. It is not, however, quite that simple. In mathematics and computer programming, trinary logic is a rarely used concept. Whereas binary logic uses 0 and 1 to formulate states, trinary logic uses 0, 1, and 2. Alternately, it may also use 1, 0, and negative 1. The cult of Trinary Star likely gets its name from this way of thinking, as shown by their alternate logo, a Trinary Star, or Three-Pointed Star, otherwise known as a Triangle. It is also quite possible that their name comes from a viewable constellation of three stars, referred to as a Trinary Star System. Notable examples of Trinary Star Systems are Alpha Centauri and Polaris. Interestingly, the deer symbol used by the Trinary Star Cult is similar to that used by the Iron Banner. The differences are subtle, but show an obvious relationship. Both display a skeletal deer, although the angle is slightly different for each image, and the Iron Banner deer has two pairs of antlers to the cult's one. Still, it wouldn't be too far of a leap in logic to speculate that one gave birth, or otherwise led to the creation, of the other. Where exactly in the European Dead Zone the cult is located is another matter. We know that there are various subzones contained within the larger European Dead Zone. Two known subzones are Memento and Widow's Court. Of these two, Memento shares the now familiar symbol of the cult. It is all too likely that the cult hides out in this location, relatively close to the Cosmodrome. Perhaps eventually their presence will prove enough of a threat that guardians will be sent in to reclaim this area in the name of the Traveler. Thank you for catching this episode of Destiny Lore and Theories. If you've enjoyed this episode, shoot me a comment, like, or subscribe. Alternately, you could also follow me on both Twitter and Facebook for regular updates. Until next week, Guardians.